Hello, Dr. Sanjana. I am Dr. Sanjana N from uh, Mysore Medical College and Research Institute. I would like to thank Indian Radiologist for this opportunity. My paper presentation is on role of uh, magnetic resonance uh, fistulogram in pre-operative assessment of inorectal fistulas and its correlation with the intraoperative findings. Introduction: Fistulogram is defined as an abnormal connection between the two structures or the organs, or between the organ or between an organ and the surface of the body. Here, is, uh, here it's an abnormal connection between the anal canal and the skin of the perineum. Its prevalence is about 0.01 percent, and it occurs approximately 10 out of 1 lakh person, and it's uh, it has a mean preponderance. Uh, young men are commonly affected. Tuberculosis and inflammatory bowel disease are also associated with the perineal fistulas. Anorectal fistulas can be intrasplenic, transplenic, extrasplenic, or the supraplenic. Detailed understanding of the anorectal anatomy is needed for the identification and the management of the anorectal fistulas. Objective: uh, to study the role of uh, uh, MR fistulogram in preoperative assessment of the anorectal fistulas, to identify the fistulas tract, internal opening, and relationship of the perianal fistulas with the anal sphincter complex, to correlate MR findings with intraoperative findings. MR appearance in anorectal fistulas and enhanced T1 weighted images provide an excellent anatomic overview of the splinter complex, levator plate, and uh, ischiorectal fossa. Fistulas tract uh, inflammation and the abscess appears as an area of a uh, low to intermediate signal intensity and may not be distinguished from the normal structure such as a uh, splinter and the levator ani muscle. At uh, interme at immediate post op evaluation, the hemorrhage produces. Uh, High signal intensity on T1 weighted images and thus may be differentiated from the residual tract. T2 weighted images provide a good contrast between the hyperintense fluid in the tract and the hypointense fibrous wall of the fistula, and allow the adequate differentiation of the anatomic boundaries between the internal and external splinters. Active fistula tracts and extensions have a high signal intensity on T2 weighted images, while the splinters and muscle have a low signal intensity. Chronic fistulas tracts or the scar appear as an area of low signal intensity on both T1 and T2 weighted images. Abscess also have a high signal intensity on T2 weighted images due to presence of the pus in the central cavity. On uh, gadolinium enhanced fat suppressed T1 weighted images, fistulas tracts and active granulation tissue demonstrate an intense enhancement while the fluid in the tract remains hypointense. Uh, materials and methods methodology the source of data uh, this is a hospital based study the source of the uh, data is from the study will be uh, 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 will be uh, the patient referred to the department of radio diagnosis mysore uh, radio diagnosis mysore medical college and research institute mysore uh, it's a descriptive study and the duration of the study was 18 months method of study consists of mr fistulogram will be uh, performed using a body coil of a 1.5 tesla mr ge medical systems uh, informed and written consent is taken from all the patients and the following mr sequences will be uh, acquired oblique axial and coronal t1 weighted fast spin echo t2 weighted fast spin echo then a pad suppressed oblique axial and coronal t1 and t2 fast uh, fast spin echo coronal and axial step and uh, contrast enhanced oblique axial coronal sagittal uh, pad sat t1 weighted fast spin echo the contrast used was uh, gadolinium to uh, 0.1 millimole per kg at a rate of 1 ml per second. Inclusion criteria: all the patients with a clinical suspicion of a perianal fistula referred to M for MRI, irrespective of the age and sex. Exclusion criteria: patient having history of claustrophobia or history of uh, metallic implant insertion, cardiac pacemaker, and uh, metallic foreign body in situ. Patient in whom intraoperative follow-up could not be done. Uh, then uh, results and study. Uh, this is the distribution for age, and uh, there were five patients below 30 years. There were 10 patients in the age group of 31 to 40. There were nine patients in the age group of 41 to 50, and there were five patients in the age group of 51 to 60, and there were three patients aged more than 60 years. Then, according to sex distribution, of uh, total 32 patients included in the study, 20 were male and 12 patients were female. And uh, this is the distribution of uh, internal and external opening. Uh, external opening number of patients were uh, 28 with a single external opening and multiple external opening were 4. And uh, internal opening, uh, when analyzing the internal opening, uh, it was a single opening in 78.1% uh, of the patients. 
that is 25 out of 32 and multiple in about 5 uh, patients that is 15.6%. Then our secondary tracks, in our study 10 out of 32 patients that is 31.3% had a secondary tracks and the abscess in our uh, study, the abscess was identified in 7 out of 32 patients which uh, corresponds to 21.9%. According to St. James uh, grading, uh, the study revealed that the grade 1 fistula were the commonest which was found in 11 patients that is 34.4%. The second most common is the grade 3 fistulas which was found in 9 patients and grade 2 fistulas were found in 6 patients and grade 4 and grade 5 fistulas were relatively uncommon and were found in 4 patients that is 12.5% and 2 patients that is 6.3% uh, respectively. Uh, the sensitivity and specificity of the MRI for grade 1 and grade 5 uh, were in the order of 82-100% and uh, for a grade 5 it was 96.4 uh, and 100% respectively and uh, for the other grades uh, the sensitivity and the specificity was 100%. Uh, so this is a uh, image showing uh, uh, high signal intensity between the splinter which corresponds to grade 1 a simple linear intersprinkle fistula. And in the second image, we can see a high signal intensity collection in the ischiorectal uh, uh, space and a linear uh, high intensity track between the anal canal and the uh, between the anal canal and the subcutaneous collection, which corresponds to grade 2 intersprinkled fistula with abscess. And uh, this is the uh, grade 3 uh, transprinkled fistula in which a linear hyper intense, uh, intense track noted uh, traversing the sprinter. And uh, this is a grade 4 transprinkled fistula with the uh, abscess and uh, secondary tracts. And this is grade 5, which is a uh, supralevator and a uh, translevator uh, disease. Conclusion Perianal fistula, though an uncommon problem, may be chronic and recurrent. It may present with uh, numerous complications like secondary tract abscess cavities. Uh, incomplete evaluation of uh, these complications can result in res residual and recurrent disease. Contrast channels MR can identify active inflammation of the tract and it, is also, it can also distinguish between the scar and granulation tissue. Uh, 3D T1 fat start sequence is the best and a time saving sequence for imaging of perianal fistula. Correct identification of the perianal fistula and proper grading of the fistula are necessary for ensuring an optimum surgical outcome. These are my references.